the beautiful thing about living in my car is that I could take my home anywhere. Welcome to the Jersey Shore where I'll be camping today. My name is Arslan and I've been living in vehicles for the past few years. I started this lifestyle after calculating how much money I could have saved by not paying rent. So far I built and lived in a van, a sports car and an SUV. While also working in healthcare, traveling the country and putting myself through nursing school. Right now I'm a registered nurse living out of 2010 Chevy Camaro. You wanna see how I do it? I am literally parked on sand in a small beach town. The temperature is about 73 degrees and I can hear the waves crashing behind me. There's a lot of things I want to do today, but first I want to start with a good meal. So let me get my kitchen set up. Since nobody's next to me, I think I'm just going to leave the door open. I did stop by Walmart and got everything I needed to cook this meal. We're gonna be making the most controversial type of pizza, Hawaiian pizza. Now, this will be my first time trying it, so I'm interested to see if I like it or not. Instead of using ham, I'm using honey turkey. Even though the turkey is cooked, I wanna fry it just a little bit. pretty nice that I have this entire side of this parking lot to myself. I am here on a weekday, so maybe that's why. Since I don't have an oven and I don't have pizza dough, what I'm gonna be using is flour tortillas. We're gonna take one and put it right in the center. And we'll go ahead and take a little bit of tomato sauce. Next we have the pineapple chunks with the juice. I'm actually just gonna pour the juice right into this cup right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it and cook it on low for a little bit. Ooh, I hope it's not too late. Got some Italian parsley, put that on top. Make it look pretty. So what I'm looking to see here is for the cheese to melt and then the tortilla on the bottom gets a little bit crusty and golden. I came to this town two days ago, but I didn't record anything. Most of the time, I just camped at Planet Fitness and Walmart. But I have a feeling that people closer to the shore are more relaxed. Most of the people I ran into have a good vibe. You know, people are either on vacation or they just feel good because they live so close to the ocean. By the way, if you've been tuning in lately, I have been debating getting a minivan like an Odyssey. But I keep changing my mind and now, I think maybe, maybe it's time for me to join the van life and get a medium sized van. Something like a low roof or a Chevy Express. It'll be like a fresh new page for me. I'm just gonna check on the crust a little bit to see how the crust is doing. Okay, okay, okay. It's getting a little bit golden. That's pretty good. Let's see guys. The only reason I'm putting it on this wood board is so I can cut it. Look how crusty it is on the bottom. That's what I was looking for. Check it out, you guys. You know, since I'm so close to the beach, let's go outside and eat this. Okay, mixed feelings right now. <laughs> Something is not adding up. I don't think this is working out. 
<laughs> it's it's not you, it's me. <laughs> the pineapple is too sweet. It overcomes any other flavor. But as you can see, the pizza with the tortilla actually holds up pretty nice. Like the actual slice, it's not falling apart. I don't have to support it. Would I make this type of pizza again? Probably no. But I'm gonna finish it so I'm not wasting food. You know, since I'm out here, let me go ahead and clean my panels. Uh, they could use a little wipe. <laughs> so the lights I have here in the back these are LED lights, but there are two problems with them. For some reason, they overheat. Like when I touch them, that's almost burning. The second problem is there's no diffusion. It's too bright versus like this light that I have here. You see how cloudy the glass is? That way, whatever light comes out of it, it's very diffused. I came up with a solution to fix the problem with this one is to apply some invisible tape I need a knife to cut that. Let me get my EMT knife. I always carry with me over here. So obviously you can see the top is not sharp. But what's cool about this knife is that on the bottom it has this glass breaker. This thing, in case of an emergency, you know, one strike to the glass and it's just gonna shatter. Let's compare the lighting now versus after. Okay, it's a little bit better. I think I'll add another strip. I guess you can't really tell the difference on camera, but um, like just looking at it, it's not blinding me like before. So I think I'll do the same for the other side. All done with that one. Whew, I am sweating so much. Okay, it did get hotter. Right now, let's see the temperature. 85 degrees Fahrenheit, so Celsius that's 29 and the humidity is 66% Let's go walk to the beach a little bit guys. I just want to feel the water These waves are scary man <laughs> See that wave? That was huge! Goodbye beach! Alright, let's get back to the camper. Okay, now how am I gonna wash all the sand off my feet? What do you guys think? It would be smart to actually get an extension tube. Let it go out of the car, turn on the faucet and just wash off whatever I need to do. Bathroom break. Uh. Now I've been growing my hair so I can show you guys how I actually shave and cut my own hair. So how about we do that right now? <laughs> we have two options. We can just sit here and cut it right here or I can get in the car and try to do it. Oh, I think it's gonna be more challenging if I do it in the car. Can I actually cut my hair and shave my beard in my car? I want to test that out, so let's get inside, guys. I do want to cover the kitchen so it doesn't get full of hair. 
There's somebody coming. <laughs> Oh, it's a van lifer. How you doing? Alright, we're good. It's just another van lifer. <laughs> don't, don't be fooled. I'm another van lifer. <laughs> don't you need a van? <laughs> Look at that. How you doing? Oh my god, you got a sink there? Yeah. <sighs> Let's check out this gentleman's van, guys. It's very simple, I see. This think. is van life, yeah. <laughs> I got my awning up here. Nice. Comes out over here. I can put a table chair. Wow. Awning there. TV. Oh. I can watch the golf down here. I can have my Chinese food. I can eat dinner, breakfast, lunch anywhere I want along the shore because it's moved. It comes with me. Love it. Exhaust fan I put through the roof. Oh. I built a bed there and a fold out table. I like the table. This is a photograph I took at Sandy Hook of a sunset. Wow. And I had it converted into a perforated vinyl decal and put it on the back window. You can see out fine. You can't see in. How is that possible? I don't know. They got a little hole. The way they do it? Well, if you look in here. Let's see. <laughs> you can see. You can see it. Absolutely. You can see. Yeah. And there's, there's my favorite find at a yard sale. Simplify your life. I love it. <laughs> it's fitting. Yeah. Yeah. And how's the van itself? It's, it's a V8, so it's a bigger engine. V8 how does Ford that work? Econoline E250. So, because I'm thinking of getting something like this, you know. With this design, I feel like you can go anywhere. You can park in any parking spot. You can still fit normal parking. Yeah. Exactly. You have plenty of roof space if you want to put solar. Well, versus a Camaro, <laughs> Camaro yeah. you know. And or, how do you eat? You just sit down over there, or yeah, you just fold table folds out oh look at that and then you, you can sit on the bench stand when you're done fold the table up and lay down and watch the TV nice this is my backup car before you came I was about to cut my own hair by the way just to show people how I do that oh this is my clothing this is electrical solar system that's a big battery there gym bag you know you're, you're really transitioning from sports car young man to <laughs> to older man stuff. <laughs> I know? do like that one though. You yeah. want to trade? And then with this side, I go like this. Did you build this? Yeah, I built it. Okay, you're creative. Yeah. Thank you. I built everything in there too. There you go. I mean, you could just watch on YouTube anything and just copy it and you know, come up with something like this right. or this. You get your ideas out of your head. That's what I always say. You got to get them out of here, down your arm and yeah. into your hands. Yeah. But I named that van a long time ago. What did you name it? As I started doing stuff. It's uh, good enough. <laughs> I good love enough. it. Yeah. And it's spelled G-O-O-D-I-N-E-N-U-F-F. -F. Good enough. I love it. So whenever I got, you know, when I was putting the decals on or yeah. there and the surfboards, you know what? Is it straight? Is it right? It's good enough. <laughs> good enough. It's good enough. I'll be here for a while. I'm going to go down there and try to... See if I can find somebody's jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much again for You're talking welcome. to me. Hey, nice talking to you too. You too. I covered the most important parts with nylon sheets. I got two mirrors and I got my own, what do you call this, bib? Yeah, something like this. That gentleman was so nice to show me his car, by the way. As you guys can see, my hair is way too long for my usual. So we're gonna be chopping it up. I usually do this at the gym, at the shower, but I just wanna show you guys and also test if it's possible to cut my hair in my car. We'll get the beard as well. Now to get the back portion, we're gonna be using a secondary mirror. Okay, phase one is done. Next, we're gonna be using a foil shaver. Just gonna brush away a little bit of this hair.
We'll start with the beard. And I'm gonna go up to that line that we made. Next, I'm gonna get a number one. I'm gonna go over the line by like an inch while the while the buzzer is facing my skin like this. And then I'll go with the buzzer facing like that. I'm gonna go halfway through on this. We're gonna start working on the line. Now lastly, I'm gonna go with the tip all the way close and work on the line a little bit. throw it out right now this I'm gonna wash I think later and there you go you can't even tell that I just cut my hair in here <laughs> my friend is leaving Okay, you guys, I'm about to go to Planet Fitness, get a nice shower, and then find a parking spot for the night. Let me know, did you love this one or did you hate it? Be honest with me. I'll see you next time. Ooh.